Wait. So this is how it st starts out? Welcome to my realm, located beyond both time and space. Okay. It is well that thou art here. I am that which humans call Arceus. Now, I wish to know thine appearance. Alright, I'm not freaking like paper pale. Now, I'm this skin tone, but I'm not that hair color. So I'll need to change it out later on in the game. What? What is thy name? Y'all know what my name is? Yes. Shadow. Soon thou shalt find thyself in a world strange to thee. A world inhabited by wondrous creatures that humans call Pokemon. Shadow. Seek out all Pokemon, and thou shalt find me once more. That's a little bit cryptic, if I say so myself. Pokemon can be caught by throwing Pokeballs at them. Hold down the ZR button to ready a Pokeball and take aim. You can keep moving around as you do so, so use the right sticks to adjust your angle and aim carefully at your tar target Pokemon. Release the ZR button to throw the Pokeball. If it hits a Pokemon, you may be able to catch it. Ready a Pokeball, but do not want to throw it, press the B button to cancel the throw. Got... Alright, I got Cyndaquil. Seems you've quite the knack for this Pokemon catching business, Shadow. Jolly useful skill to have around here. Only two of my darling runaways left now. Still, this is most unusual. You don't seem fearful of Pokemon in the slightest. Get out of the pond. Yeah! I can hardly believe it, Shadow. Incredible. You know, many people fear to even approach Pokemon, never mind to catch them. Bravo indeed. Just one more to go. Let's wrap this up sharpish, shall we? Ah oh, yes, I'm afraid that can happen. Pokeballs are hardly 100% foolproof. Give it another go, old boy. Come on. Rowlet, stay in there. <laughs> Who are you? I've never seen anyone dressed like you are. What if you were attacked by a Pokemon? You'd be minced meat in those flimsy clothes. If the guard let you through, you must have ties with somebody in the village. Perhaps you've met Professor Leventon? He's a scholar from a faraway place. His Pokemon do get away from him at times, though. It makes me a bit worried for him. I suppose I'm hardly one to talk. I've had some trouble with Pokemon myself. I was hit by a Pokemon move called Thundershock not long ago and had to take to my bed. But the Professor? Well... I do wonder how long he'll last. Unfortunately, it's just as Akari says. I'm a clumsy sort of fellow, to put it mildly. Professor! But everything will be quite alright now. Shadow here has agreed to help us with our Pokedex. Excuse me? You plan to appoint him to the Survey Corps? You can't just slap a badge on whoever you like without Captain Silene's permission. 
I'll allow it. Captain Cyrene! Assuming the individual can contribute to the Survey Corps, that is. I am the captain of the Galaxy Team Survey Corps. You may call me Cyrene. Professor Lavington has told me how you helped secure his Pokémon when they slipped his control. And now it seems he would like us to feed and house you in exchange for your ongoing labor. Hmm. You look to be 15 or so. Quite old enough to work for your keep. But we can't simply take on a stranger who wanders in among us without any idea of their skills or origins. Tomorrow we shall see if you can prove yourself worthy. Oh ho! A most reasonable decision, Captain. Now, would you care to join us for a meal? I'm sure you've got plenty of questions for a visitor. That's quite alright. I prefer to eat alone, so I might appreciate my meals without distraction. Aloof as always, I see. Well, no matter. The rest of us can share a meal and some pleasant conversation then, eh? Benny old chum, the usual potato mochi if you please, but make it for three today. Not to worry, I have complete confidence in Shadow's skills. Let's hope it is not misplaced. Shadow, was it? For tonight at least, we will provide you with a place to sleep. You may use our quarters here. But, if you fail to pass the trial we put to you tomorrow, you must move on. You will be expelled from the village to meet your fate, and perhaps your death in the wilds. Jesus. Holy. Captain Silene's somewhat like Hasui, in that they're both quite harsh. Now, no, she simply puts on a stern front to help keep us all safe. This is why she... Honestly, between Silene and Cyrus, since uh, Silene is Cyrus's ancestor, I prefer Silene a lot more. She's not as... She's not evil like Cyrus is. Survey tips. To read the menu... Survey tips contain all sorts of useful information to help you carry out your survey work in the Hisui region. To read them at any time, simply press the up button to open open the menu, then go to the help screen. Team members, don't wish your toils to be forgotten. Diligent record keeping will save you from such a fate. To save your progress, press the up button to open the menu, then scroll with the ZL or ZR button until you reach the save screen. There's also an autosave function you can use to have your progress saved automatically. You can enable or disable autosave by scrolling to the help screen in the menu, then selecting settings. Why is that creaking? Is that my headphones? What the hell? Rest until tomorrow morning? Yes. Ayo, what was that? And with that, one of the Pokemon you caught at Prelude Beach from for me will now be yours to keep. Good show. I've tucked Cyndaquil back inside its Pokeball for you, so take it. It's yours. Let's go! Investigating the odd and novel is key to any good merchant's success. So, what do you say? How about, how about you and I see how our Pokemon stand up to one another in battle? Sounds good. I like you better and better. What a delightful find. I've also heard about this trial you're to attempt. 
Let's have a quick battle to get your blood pumping before you head out. Though, I hope you know you'll lose if your Pokemon's HP reaches zero. Volo. Let's go. Not even joking, I saw a video earlier today when uh, someone ended up taking on Volo at the very end of their gameplay. And Volo had freaking remixed Cynthia's theme and started the battle with a freaking Spirit Tomb. I know for sure Volo. I know Volo is Cynthia's ancestor, but for that to happen, and now I just realized, Togepi here, which means it'll end up be being a Toge uh, Togekiss at the final battle with him. Moves, items, use them well, and the world will open up to you. Aspiration Hill, the species of Pokemon you. You're meant to catch all live here. Ayo. Hold up. Hey, there's a Bidoof. <laughs> Listen carefully. Not that you seem to need my advice. I'm just sharing what I know. Yeah, yeah. Hold down the ZL button to focus on a wild Pokemon and keep it in your sights as long as it's nearby. This technique comes in very useful when aiming Pokeballs at a target or when dodging Pokemon's attacks. Has a battle of disposition. That means it tends not to run from people, so this will be easy. There's a Bidoof. Time to find your next Pokemon. Which, if I remember correctly, is supposed to be Starly. Yeah, I see one over there. I think still run of Startle. But you should be able to get close to them if you crouch. You'll be harder to spot. Ah, okay. Press the B button to crouch and make it harder for wild Pokemon to notice you. Press the same button again to rise. If you creep into the tall grass while crouched low, you'll be even harder for wild Pokemon to detect. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. On its tail feather. Starlight caught as well. Only one more Pokemon to go. There's something I ought to teach you since you're still new to this. Here's the proper way to throw your partner's Pokeball. As Captain Silene tells us, have an item at the ready but want to send down a Pokemon? Press X. Have a Pokemon at the ready but want to throw an item? Press X. The Captain's a real expert on these things. Try throwing your Pokemon's ball at rocks or trees like this one to have it investigate. If your Pokemon finds any berries or other items, it'll bring them to you. Now it's time for your partners to shine. We've reached your final hurdle, catching a Shinx. Spoil. Where did I get an apricorn from? Nice. There. 
That Shinx. Shinx has an aggressive disposition. Could you already tell that? Uh, more or less. I thought you might. I can never tell until I focus on the Pokemon carefully. Once aggressive Pokemon get arid, they'll knock aside any ball you throw at them. When you use the ZL button to focus on a Pokemon, you can see how easy it may be to catch. The more arrows you see pointed up above a Pokemon, the easier it will be to catch. An X icon will appear above a Pokemon if it has picked a fight with you. Be warned, Pokemon displaying this icon cannot be caught unless you engage them in battle. Don't worry though, I'll teach you the trick to catch an aggressive Pokemon. You've got to battle them. Once they're absorbed with battling, you can throw a Pokeball at them to try to catch them. By now, you've got several Pokemon of your own, don't you? Take one of their Pokeballs and throw it near a wild Pokemon you want to battle. I've got no doubt you'll hold your own in battle. It's easy to start a battle against a wild Pokemon. Simply throw a Pokeball that contains one of your own Pokemon at it. If you can see that you currently have an item ready to throw, not a Pokemon, press the X button. It will allow you to toggle between your thrown items and your Pokemon team. Yes, I want to throw a Pokeball. Especially now that Shinx has been weakened. Yes. This Pokemon without a hint of fear and caught each one. You're like a gift the sky dropped to us. With you at our side, I think the Survey Corps has a real chance of compiling a complete Pokedex as we've been ordered. This is wonderful. Choose an item to craft, in this case, a Pokeball. You can use the workbenches in Jubilee Village and, and the base camps to craft Pokeballs and other items. Crafting items requires a recipe and the necessary materials. Yeah! You'll recall, of course, that Pokémon possess the odd power to shrink themselves down. With the Pokéballs we craft, we can make use of that power to catch them. Also, so that more Pokémon species can be duly recorded in a Pokédex. And on that note, here you are. Received a Pokédex. Nice. A volume for compiling the collected results of much Pokémon research. Professor Leventon continually adds to it with each report made on new Pokemon species. Righto, let's get to it then, shall we? In order to complete this Pokedex of ours, there are a great many research tasks I'll need your help to carry out, my boy. The details of these tasks can be found in the Pokedex for you to reference anytime. Ah yes, the research tasks. Research tasks are tasks you need to carry out to complete the Pokedex. Each Pokemon species has a different number and variety of research tasks. Press the down button to open your Pokedex, then check what kinds of research tasks are available for the Pokemon you've registered. When, you're, when you've focused on a wild Pokemon in the field using the ZL button, you can also instantly check the research tasks for that species by pressing the down button to open your Pokedex right to that page. Some Pokemon have some unusual research tasks, so be sure to check them out. You can find a Pokemon called Weasel. It's got an aggressive disposition. Wee wee! Weasel! That means it'll try to hit you with its moves, just like Shinx, and you'll need to battle it to catch it. 
If you take too much damage within a short time, you'll be in danger of blacking out. You can tell you're in danger when the edges of the screen turn red. Damage goes away over time, but you won't begin to recover if you're still being targeted by a wild Pokemon. If you take further damage after the edges of the screen have turned red, you'll become overwhelmed and black out. If you have progress to report, I will judge its worthiness. Show me your Pokedex. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. You have made progress. It seems you have earned yourself a star. With this, you have officially attained the rank of first star in the Galaxy Expedition Team. Listen, I've had an epiphany. Everything all right? You see, I've got a partner of my own. We may not get along perfectly, but we've got to work together to help complete the Pokedex. Your partner? Yes, here. This is my partner, Pikachu. Hold up. It's so weird hearing an actual Pokemon cry instead of the usual Pika Pika for Pikachu. Why? No. No. When we were attacked by those Shinx, I got too scared to think straight, and I couldn't handle battling as a team. Ever since then, my partners refuse to listen to anything I tell them. And if I'm being honest, I'm not even sure how to order him, how to guide him in battle. But when I saw how you and your Pokemon worked together, I realized we needed to do more, too. So please, have a battle with me. I want to learn how to fight effectively. Alright. Cyndaquil. Wait, what level is... Oh, I... Hell. What do you Oh my god. You've got to be joking, dude. Oh my god. Let's go. <sighs> you and your Pokemon seem to be completely in step with one another. I think I'm gonna leave it there. I'm I really enjoy playing Legends Arceus, but I feel like there's so much stuff that needs to be done in this game that basically almost all of it I'm gonna have to do off camera. I think it's when I get to the major parts that I might uh, I think it's going to be the major parts of playing this game, like, say for instance, uh, I know from what my friend, uh, my buddy Richard, from what he's told me is that lightning strike that happened during a cutscene earlier, that was a cleavor, I think I might end up recording my interaction with that, I might also see if I can record my interaction with the Hisuian Zorwa and Zorarks. So that's going to be interesting. Um, what else? Maybe as well with my 
uh, the battle against Volo at the very end when he's got six Pokemon on his team. The interaction with the Creation Trio and Arceus. Possibly. So, yeah, about like 95% of this game is going to be off camera.